Okay, back at Project mf -er. We uh, topped off the rear end and the main gearbox here. This is the dipstick. And when we did that, a solid stream of oil was coming out of this hole right here. This is the uh, brake actuator rod hole that goes into the rear end. And as you can see, we have a little diaper here to catch all the uh, oil that leaked out. So we're going to have to remove this. We got a new seal to go in here for this rod. Um, we're going to have to loosen this ad uh, adjusting bolt, remove that, remove this pen, and take this tappet out of the way and get in here and remove this old seal and put a new one in. So we'll start by getting this guy out of the way. Oh, that's real nice. Full of water because it rained on it. Oh yeah. Thank you for selecting this video. I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button be sure to leave all your questions and comments in that section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. At the end of this video we perform a test with a Project Big MFR and we test, test the posi traction on the rear end so we have a little bit of fun. But we couldn't do that until the seal was replaced because we wanted to make sure the rear end was completely full of oil before testing it in this fashion. Thanks again, everybody. seal for this is bad but it's just a dust seal I'll put the cut side down clean this all out put a little uh, lube in there this lever here is the parking brake this has a little little boss right here that engages in the back of that tappet lever and forces it forward mechanically. Not sure if you can see that or not, but she's still leaking as I uh, clean the stuff out of there so when I take this seal out I bet you a bunch more lube's gonna come out. <clears throat> really sure how to get that out of there at this point. Gosh, I wonder if you have to take the actuator rod off to get that out. I hope not. I'm going to go consult that overpriced manual that I purchased. And it looks like that brake actuator rod has a clevis on the inside. And they want you to tap out the seal from the back side, being down here. But 
there's a flange there. If this seal can go over this, cl uh, this clevis, or has to go over this clevis, it definitely should be able to go over this little shoulder and come in from this way. So I'm going to try to get this. This is a little pressed in ring. I'm going to try to get this out the way we were trying earlier. Try to reinstall the new one without removing this whole housing. There's the upper view. Both sides are the same except uh, the side we're currently working on, which is what I call the passenger side. It has the diff lock uh, actuating rod hinged on it. Now it looks like we got to get this stupid brake arm out of the way. There we go. That's it. Just got a hole right there in the bottom. Here's our new one. Just need to get this. A little, I guess, uh, part on the inside here. We need to get that wrapped around this little shoulder in there. So got my inch and three quarters socket. I'm gonna use this as a driver to try to drive the seal in. Okay guys, well it's really difficult to show, but as you saw in the diagram, the actuator rod has a shoulder with an undercut that the seal snaps in well when i turned you off to position the seal on the rest of the way i had to remove the little spring that retains or squeezes the boot around the actuating rod in that uh, groove right behind that shoulder and once I removed that, I was able to use uh, my fingers to stick it in here and get the rubber boot to pop over the shoulder and into the groove. So now I need to put this spring back on. Okay, I used my external snap ring pliers. That was ridiculously harder than it needed to be. See it in the uh, form section of the seal. And the seals in the undercut uh, basically stretched it out a little bit to get part of it started with those snapping pliers and then I had to hold it uh, with one finger and work it around the rest of the way luckily we got it on there so now we're ready to go back together I'm gonna clean a little bit of the gunk out of this wheel cylinder hole 
and put it all back together. seal now it's time to fill up the gearbox again and see if oil comes pissing out of here pretty sure it's not gone to but we'll give her a give her a good check put our dipstick back in and top off this gearbox trying to test out the posi drive on this rear end this lever right here which i wasn't really for sure what it was engages the posi drive so both rear tires will spin with the same force so it's gonna work we're gonna dig some holes if it doesn't work well we'll just have a regular tractor at that point where you gotta tap the brakes let's see what happens